and welcome to Tuesday's morning message. Um, I'm going to use this lovely little deck which I was gifted. Um, I actually can't, I think it's called the Third Eye Tarot. Um, and I'm told it's on Etsy. So that is where to look for it if you guys want it. So let us see what comes through for today. As always, please bear in mind that time is fluid. So these messages can occur at any time. Um, so, you know, if you feel drawn to watching another one, then watch another video as well because the timestamps really don't matter. Now, as I went to shuffle then, look what card flipped. We have the Four of Cups. I'm just like, I, I'm told like someone's thinking, like just thinking and thinking and thinking about something. Um, maybe you're kind of like weighing up the pros and cons of an opportunity here because it does actually seem like you either have been or about to be offered an opportunity and it's going to get you thinking about whether this is something you want to do. So let's see what the thought process is here. You're thinking long and hard about this, so it seems to be a big decision. Yeah, we've got the strength card. So this is a very big decision for you to make. And I feel like some of you, some of you have changed your mind because it's like, perhaps when you first thought you wanted this opportunity, maybe you were in a different space. And now you're like, is that still aligned with my goals? Is that still something that I want to do? There's going to be a lot of success heading your way very soon. And this means that you are attracting a couple of opportunities. Um, I feel someone's gonna be quite forceful with you as well to try and get you to accept an opportunity, whether this is, you know, someone who wants to be with you romantically or a job offer. Um, but someone's being quite forceful about their approach with you. This person has a lot of confidence and they don't, they don't deal with rejection very well. So you even taking your time to think about whether you want to do this opportunity, even that is very unsettling for this person. So let's see, why are you kind of thinking about this opportunity this way? Let's see what the thought process is here. The sun. You're literally questioning whether this is going to make you happy or not. Is this kind of using your skills to the best use? Is this going to fulfill you? The sun, I just feel like you've had him. You've had a bit of a change in your situation recently and this change means that you're trying to, you know, think about whether this is still something which is aligned with your goals, your dreams. Is it still something that you want in your life? Um, you don't know how long term this is going to be as well. You're questioning, is this, is this long term enough for me? Is this really going to, you know last a lifetime so if you're looking at a relationship here you are questioning the longevity of it or a job offer you know is this something you want to do for the rest of your life perhaps you're you're not too sure here so let us have a look I, I feel like a lot of you you don't know whether this is you know whether this is going to allow you to express yourself you have been silenced in the past someone here or a situation or Perhaps you just felt this way, but you were very, you were silenced, like you weren't able to express yourself, you weren't able to maybe showcase the best of your abilities, put yourself out there. So a lot of you are feeling like, I want to be in a position or in a relationship where I'm able to fully embrace who I am, where I'm able to express my authenticity. And you're wondering Am I able to do that with this opportunity? So that's why you're thinking about it. So let's see the outcome here. Oh, the Ten of Swords. To be honest, I think a lot of you aren't going to accept this offer because there's something better waiting. The Ten of Swords is telling me that this might not this might not be what you want to do long term it could bring about some temporary satisfaction but to be honest for a lot of you it's like you don't see this lasting in the future you know look her third eye is wide open you don't the outcome is basically you're thinking is this going to last long term 
And that's what you're making your decision based off. Is this going to last? Some of you are having to like let other things go as well to pursue this opportunity. So that's why it's a difficult decision because you can't just kind of take this opportunity and like carry on living your life. It seems like there's some kind of adjustment that you need to make. So it could very well be like a job and leaving behind an old job that perhaps you actually do like. Um, or if it is a relationship, it just feels like there's some kind of change which you have to go through for this to work or something. We have the three of cups. Okay, guys, I am going to be honest. One of these opportunities, it doesn't seem like it's going to last, but there is another opportunity coming. It feels like you're going to have a couple of, a couple of opportunities on the table and there are actually a few which could work out, but one of them, one of them feels a little bit toxic. It feels a little bit like it's an old version of you. You know, it's not going to fulfill the new you. And that's okay. We, we are changing all the time. And I think one, you know, one big kind of like sign of being awakened or conscious means that you understand, you know, that your needs may have changed even from like last week, perhaps what you thought you wanted, you're realizing that isn't me anymore. And, you know, being aware of that and mean like letting you yourself choose different opportunities instead um, you know, that is a big sign that like you are listening to your, your inner self. So three of cups, good news guys. If you're patient, there's going to be an opportunity heading your way, which it's going to be everything you could have wanted. The three of cups is telling me that there's going to be a celebration. There's going to be some good news coming your way. So don't beat yourself up if something hasn't worked out because for some of you this might be in the past where you've been thinking about something and you're realizing I don't want this anymore I don't want it in my future but as you as you kind of take that offer off the table as you're like right you know what I actually don't want that anymore I'm going to push it to one side doing that means that you are making space for a new opportunity to come to the table and the next one really feels successful it feels like it's going to be um it's going to be good it's going to be something that really does make you happy page of cups flew out face up so page of cups really is telling me there's going to be some good news um and this is going to help you make a decision so the page of cups is a new beginning it's a fresh start um who someone is basically bringing about a new offer to the table and I just feel like this is something that you really want to get on board with you really want to create with this person so someone's going to be catching your attention basically I feel very very strong Leo energy here so it could be Leo uh like a, a Leo sun moon rising um or it could also be like Leo season but there's something about you know, you being confident as you put this one offer to the side because you are attracting something else. So try not to feel, you know, too downhearted about this because yes, you might need time to kind of grieve like this loss or just deal with the emotions which come as a result of something here not really working out, but something much, much better is on its way. And I feel like as you process those emotions and, you know, accept the situation, that is when this person approaches with this offer or opportunity. And it really is going to be something that you feel very inspired about. That's the thing. This inspires you. It kind of like, it lights you up a little bit. So let's see. I want to see a bit more about this person. Queen of Cups interesting i'm not being given much about this person but i am being shown here that whatever this person gives you you accept this person brings about the offer and you embrace it you take it you take it to your heart this is something that you really do want to want to move forwards with this person whoever it is this page of cups this person's like a mirror to you they really show they show your energy back to you. It's very much like everything you, 
shine out, they kind of shine back at you. Um, so it's it's a very equal and balanced situation here, this relationship. You know, it doesn't have to be romantic at all. This could be a friend, it could be anything here. Um, so take it as it resonates. But I feel, like I said, this person shows shows you back the energy you give to them. So, you know, the more you give, the more you get back. I feel this person really helps boost your confidence as well. They make you feel better about yourself. I've got the lovers and the wheel of fortune. Look how fated this is, guys. This connection, it seems pretty divine, if I'm being honest. The lovers is telling me that the two of you may have come from, like, different walks of life, but... Like I said, this person's your mirror. They could even be your twin flame here. Especially with this yin yang symbol. I honestly feel someone here is reflecting something back at you and you're gonna be making a decision quite soon. But there's like a, a very interesting offer. That's that's what it is, guys. There's an interesting offer which is presented to you. And all of a sudden, it's got you thinking, I might want to accept this. It feels good. It feels positive. Let me get one more card. Uh, Seven of Pentacles. So you've been really patient with something. You've been patiently waiting and you've had all these other offers or opportunities, but there's clearly one which like isn't working out. And then you choose an offer which comes your way because you want to create with this person. Now don't get hung up on the labels. Like I really want to say that now, twin flame soulmate, it doesn't matter, you know, if something resonates, it resonates. Um, but this lovers and wheel of fortune, it just feels like you two have a perfect fit. So regardless of what label you resonate with, this person is showing back to you all these parts of yourself. And you are like yin yang, like you do just fit together, you work, you're a good team here. Your harvest is ready. That's what this is, guys. Your harvest is ready. There's something here which you can definitely seize. There's like an opportunity coming your way which you're going to take and you're going to really enjoy it. So much love in this bottom row. Three of Cups, Page of Cups, Queen of Cups, The Lovers, Wheel of Fortune... There's so much love here, but first of all, there's definitely an emotional ending. So it's like something is ending, something doesn't work out, but then the new offer comes and this is the one you want to take. This is the balanced partnership. I just keep hearing the time has come. So I feel this is very much happening now. Something quite big is about to go down. Let me just see what's on the bottom. The tower. Wow, guys. I never normally check the bottom of my deck, but my guys were like, read the bottom. The tower. Something really, really big is about to go down. And I feel, I don't know why, but I'm showing like Rapunzel. I feel like someone here is going to try and come and rescue you from your tower. Um, So... If you're having kind of visions that something isn't going to work out long term, I would pay attention to those because it feels like spirit is trying to show you something, trying to get you to question, you know, is this really going to make you happy long term? Because actually, if it isn't, we've got something which will, you know, and I think coming to an understanding about what will and won't make you happy makes space for something really, really good to come your way. Okay, guys, I am going to leave this one here. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Let me know if this resonates for you, what this is about, who's involved here, because it does feel really, really exciting. Um, you know, this could be like love or career as well. So keep that in mind. And I will see you back here tomorrow for another morning message. If you liked this reading, please don't forget to like the video, comment below and hit subscribe to my channel to show your support. Um, thanks guys and I'll see you tomorrow.